Macedonia braced for huge anti-government protest. Thousands of protesters are due to take part in a rally in the Macedonian capital Skopje to demand the resignation of long-serving Prime Minister Nikola Gruevsky. The rally follows months of allegations that he has abused his power. Covered recordings released by the opposition appear to show ministers plotting vote rigging and the covering up of the murder. Last week two ministers and the head of the intelligence service resigned. Opposition leaders said intelligence chief Cecil Mijalkov and Interior Minister Gordana Jankilovskot were behind attempts to control the press, judiciary and electoral officials by tapping their phones. However, the government denies the allegations and insists the opposition is trying to destabilize the country for its own benefit. It is organizing a counter-demonstration on Monday. The political instability comes as the country wrestles with the aftermath of clashes last weekend between ethnic Albanians and police. Fourteen ethnic Albanians and a police officers were killed in fighting that followed a police raid on an ethnic Albanian neighborhood in the northern town of Kumanovo. Ethnic Albanians make up one quarter of Macedonia's 2.1 million population. The Oval Office tapes finished off U.S. President Richard Nixon. Now the Macedonian equivalent is threatening to do the same to Nikola Gruevsky. Covered recordings apparently show ministers plotting everything from vote rigging and media manipulation to covering up the murder by a police officer. The opposition leader Zoran Siev says the prime minister has to go. The rally may show how many Macedonians agree. But the protest movement had been running separately from the political parties, and some have said they are not happy about Mr. Siev's involvement. The demonstration will also be a challenge to the professionalism of the authorities. Western diplomats have urged the police to show restraint, and the government to launch a credible investigation into all the allegations. Opposition leader Zoran Siev has been releasing a steady stream of recordings since February. His party accuses the government of wiretapping 20,000 people, including politicians, journalists and religious leaders. He says that scores of leaked recordings reveal corruption at the highest levels of government, including the mismanagement of funds, dubious criminal prosecutions of opponents and even cover UPS of killings. He argues that the abuse of power allegations are so serious that the Prime Minister has to resign and call new elections. Opposition parties have boycotted Parliament since accusing the governing coalition of fraud in the April 2014 election. But Mr. Gruevsky who has won successive elections since 2006, has repeatedly rejected the allegations. He has accused Mr. Ziev of orchestrating the coup at the behest of unnamed foreign spy agencies who want to overthrow his conservative government.